The region is now holding its breath, awaiting military action by the United States and possibly its allies in response to that reported chemical weapons attack in the town of Douma in Syria. The Russian military now says the Syrian regime is now in full control of the previously held uh, rebel town where the alleged attack took place. This latest video shows cheering civilians entering Douma. So far, there has not been any announcement from Damascus, but a war monitoring group says the Syrian flag is now flying in the town under a deal negotiated by Russia. The largest rebel group, the Army of Islam, has now been evacuated. In his latest tweet, President Trump says an attack in Syria could take place very soon or not so soon at all. Meanwhile, now we're getting word from France that they have proof, this according to French officials, that the Syrian regime did use chlorine gas weapons. This now, as word is coming from Germany, that they will not participate in any military retaliation, although uh, German officials are saying that the use of chemical weapons is unacceptable. And uh, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad said today that any military action in retaliation to the reported chemical attack would be based on, quote, lies and would further destabilize the region. The U.S. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis, when asked if there is enough evidence to blame the Assad regime for the chemical attacks, said that the matter is still being studied. Have you seen enough evidence that to blame the Assad regime for this most recent chemical attack? Have you seen evidence confident to make that assumption? Uh, we're still assessing the uh, the intelligence uh, ourselves and our allies. We're still working on this. Is the U.S. military ready right now to conduct a counter uh, retaliatory strike if ordered? Uh, we stand ready to provide military options if they're appropriate, uh, as the president determined. And as the world waits to see how this crisis is going to play out, Israeli fighter jets rehearsing for the country's Independence Day terrified some residents of Tel Aviv. The flyovers had some believing that war had broken out. Israeli officials tried to reassure the public, later explaining it was all just a drill. And although the U UN Security Council has been deadlocked when it comes to resolutions about investigating uh, what happened in Syria, uh, Bolivia is calling for a session today at the Security Council to raise the issue of what happened there once again. The Bolivians believe that any military action would in some way violate the UN Charter.